Well, yeah, and one um, very important thing I um, would recommend everybody to look at after you install Webmin is go on the on the first page um, down here on the system information page, and then down here on the bottom, package updates. There are 25 packages available right now with that version, and as of today, so you will always want to install the latest packages. So. Here yeah, it's already all highlighted, so just click here on Update Select Packages, and then just install them. And now it's installing all those packages that were available. You know, if you manage a server system, you always want to make sure that you're up to date with all your management tools, because all those updates they fix some kind of bugs or some programming pro uh, issues that uh, occurred later on while people actually were using this. So um, this will take you a, a, a few minutes to run through all those installations. So um, the next thing we're going to look at, I just want to show you um, a few um, things here in um, Webmin like um, the Apache web server configuration or a Samba file sharing. So, so you just get an, a light idea how the administration will look like on, on a Webmin system. So we'll leave that running here. Um, let's go to Samba. And here in my, my case, you see, I already have uh, something configured. So let's just uh, go through all those options you have here. Yeah, so here's a Unix networking option. You can adjust uh, your networking um, settings a little bit to make it more uh, reliable or even faster. And go back. Then you have the Windows networking options. We can set up the work group and um, the server name and your Win server if you have one all those nice stuff and um, let's look at the yeah, for example the file share defaults and yeah, you know, you can set permission naming stuff all those things but I can really recommend that you go to the webman web page and read a little bit through the documentation um, how you uh, set up some stuff also if you want to um, mess a little bit with uh, Samba uh, Windows file sharing. I recommend to go to samba.org and read about the Samba service itself to see how it works, what's involved, what dependencies are in there. You know that if you have the the yeah, what demon, demons are uh, working there. So let's go here to um, Apache Web Server. By default, you have a default server and a virtual server. Yeah, you can, for example, click on the virtual server and look around the configuration. Yeah, and those are the per directory options. Here you can configure some error handling, aliases and redirects, and CGI programs, and so on. There's also tons of options you can use. And uh, again, it's important that you have to read a little bit. Uh, about the service you want to administer so you're not making any um, mistakes that could be uh, fatal later on like if you set up the web server and it's all actually on the internet and on your internal network which you shouldn't do but in some cases it's happened so people gain access to the web server and through that they have access to the entire network so yeah you want to read up some information about what you have to configure and how you have to configure it, what you should avoid and so on. So I hope this um, was kind of informative for you guys. Um, it helped. I hope it helped you to install Webmin as a service and that you had a can maybe made it even easier for you to to make a decision if you want to use it or not. 
So um, I hope it helped and I will say thank you very much for uh, watching Ubuntu Videocast and I hope I see you next time.